asked me to go on an audition as the female then, and I went up there and I was like, oh hey, I, I could actually do this. I definitely think it's it's been uh, it's been an honor for me too. I, I didn't really quite realize how impactful this might be to, to you know women and men and everyone watching uh, to see a woman get to play the hero, right, and to you know be capable up to the very end. Uh, and so I've, I had like lots of like you know younger girls come up to me afterwards and be like, oh, I loved you. You were so good. Like I just had like a younger sister of someone take a picture with me, and I was like, oh, wow, like this is really cool. She like saw something in me that she liked. <laughs> Look at me. You cannot go out there. Look, if I thought there was something we could do to help your brother, we would. But those people out there, those things, you go out there and it's over. You know, I think you mentioned that some people didn't even know that um, Ben was originally like a male figure, right? Yeah, a few people. They, they just thought, you know, it was originally supposed to be yeah. <laughs> The way Barbara's relationship with Don in the beginning is kind of like she's the only thing that Barbara has in that moment. You know, everything's being ripped apart from her. Her brother is like, they have to pull it out of the window and everything, and then she doesn't know of what's going on or anything. And so Donna's like her only hope pretty much. And she's, <laughs> Donna's the one that saves her in the beginning. So without Donna, you know, Barbara probably wouldn't have made it. Barbara, um, that's the character I was already like looking after um, after I watched the movie. And in the movie, it's so much different because she's kind of like hopeless and she's just out of her mind and she just doesn't do anything pretty much. She's kind of useless in the movie. <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie. Yeah. So in this, it was really cool to actually be able to like be part of the action and to change so drastically. Yeah, you, beginning. you're like badass. In this I know. In the beginning, I'm you're so bad. You're like ready to go. <laughs> so that was really fun. When I uh, was thinking about how I was gonna characterize Donna, I was like, oh, I'm gonna Sigourney Weaver this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Ripley this all the way, right? Except with zombies instead of aliens. She's just, you know, so badass, so smart, so capable. How long have you two been down there? I could've used your help boarding this place up. I didn't, I, I didn't change like the fundamental qualities that Ben has, but I didn't really like, you know, be like, okay, I'm gonna do what he's doing, because you know, playing a woman, it's different than playing a man, right? So I didn't want to just be a woman playing a man. I wanted to be a woman playing a woman. We didn't want to lose the kind of uh, progressive like qualities that the original movie had, with the hero being a black man. Like that was really cool, and we didn't really want to like, you know, erase that. Um, but <laughs> we didn't. Well, we didn't have any available actors who could fit the role, right? So uh, my director was like, okay, what if we made one of the beds a woman? I told you those things don't have any strength. And I'd appreciate it if you stopped yelling. Oh, she'd appreciate it. You know, it's real funny come from a chick like you. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't even I wasn't even sure until the castles came out that we were definitely having one of the Ben's be a woman. So that was that was a surprise to me. So that was really cool. So glad it happened. I know. <laughs> me too. This is so fun. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, this is like the most fun I've ever had in the show.